The Voyager spacecraft has completely changed the way we see this world, and it's one of the first man-made things that reached outer space. The main objective of Voyager was to figure out the nature of Jupiter and Saturn, but the spacecraft ended up traveling for millions of miles. Even though the budget of the spacecraft was very limited, it still continues to travel the vast distances in outer space. But recent pictures from the Voyager actually made rounds on the internet and shocked a lot of people, mainly because of how terrifying these images were. So make sure to watch this video to the very end to find out all about it. Jupiter was the main concern of Voyager 1, and it focused mainly on its four big moons. Because of this, Europa, the smaller moon, was never really the focus of the spacecraft. Another reason why Europa wasn't in the spotlight back in the day was also because Voyager 1 passed this moon of Jupiter from quite a distance. So, there really was no way that it would have figured out the atmosphere and conditions of the moon. However, things started to turn a bit when Voyager 2 passed Jupiter. This time, Europa got all the attention it deserved and we got to see the moon as smooth surfaced because of all the ice. In fact, according to the findings of Voyager 2, this moon of Jupiter was the smoothest object in the entire solar system. It shocked a lot of scientists and astronomers, and they started their research. This smooth surface was a result of ice that froze over an internal ocean, and having an ocean obviously meant that the moon had water that automatically raised a lot of questions for the existence of life on Jupiter's moon. Having liquid water below the surface of the moon simply meant that the temperatures were moderate in the core and the conditions were optimal for single-celled organisms. These findings by Voyager 2 actually gave birth to a lot of science fiction movies on Europa, and people continue to speculate that there's life below the surface of this planet. Even some of the astronomers were in the view that they could actually find life on Europa, and it could turn out to be the biggest discovery of mankind. As the moon got famous among the masses and astronomers, NASA decided to focus mainly on the moon instead of sharing its spotlight with the other moons of Jupiter. It was just so they could find out if there's any possibility of life on the moon, and if they could actually see what's underneath that icy surface. Even though the only close-up of Europa that we got to see was back in 2000, and after that, things hit a rough patch because of budget issues, and we didn't get to see Jupiter or its moons closely for decades to come. However, Soon the missions were continued and we got to see that Europa actually has internal oceans and the very common in exoplanets. Some astronomers also believe that Pluto might have an internal ocean of its own. But the good thing is that we got to know that Europa indeed has water underneath which makes it a great candidate when it comes to life in our solar system. NASA is still studying Europa and is going to launch Clipper that's going to reach the surface of Jupiter and examine its moons, including Europa, very closely. But it would be unfair if we don't talk about the images released by NASA's Juno spacecraft. The spacecraft took images of Europa during a flyby from a distance of 219 miles, and we got to see the surface of Europa like never before. These images have raised more questions that they've answered, and they've also started a whole new debate. We could clearly see the icy moon closely with the lines and dents on its surface. However, if we look at it as a planet, it looks terrifyingly smooth. These images are going to be the center of attention and thousands of astronomers will be writing papers on them in the next few years. Also, researchers are yet to analyze these images closely and talk about the haunting moon of Jupiter. The resolution of these images by Juno was one kilometer per pixel. The images taken by Juno are a lot better than the ones we got back in 2000. The spacecraft that took these photographs has a very advanced Juno cam that makes sure that it takes clearer pictures of objects even from a distance. Not only this, it also contains ultraviolet and gravity detectors. The spacecraft can also detect high energy particles, so it is a complete package to see the things that are going on in Jupiter's moon. According to NASA's statement, this flyby was a huge success and even though their mission is still in progress, they're happy with their recent outcome. It is also being said by astronomers that the dents on the surface of Europa could be caused by flowing water. And they're also of the opinion that these dents are relatively young, which means Europa still has flowing water beneath its surface. Some people believe that the icy surface of Europa is just a hoax, so the moon could be safe from the outer world. And inside the surface is a fully-fledged alien life which doesn't want to be seen. 
It sounds very strange and might even be ridiculous for a lot of people, but we shouldn't forget the way humans were made. So we can't really negate the possibility of alien life in Jupiter. If anything, these terrifying images make it even clearer that there's a huge possibility of life on the Europa moon of Jupiter because it has flowing water and might even have moderate temperatures. Even though we still need the kind of technology that could tell us what's going on beneath the surface, for now, the moon has a high chance of being on NASA's radar for its research on alien life. And what's better for this search than a moon from our own solar system? Astronomers believe that if we manage to discover water under the surface of Europa, then it might change our view of moons forever. We wouldn't just dismiss any planet or moon because of its surface, but we'll be looking beneath its surface if anything of this sort ever happens. So even though Voyager 2 gave us a close look at Europa and completely changed the way we see this moon, there still is a lot that we need to do. For instance, we need to find out the composition of the moon and the elements found on its surface and under it. After a detailed analysis, we'll be able to actually understand whether we could count Europa as a contender for extraterrestrial life or not. Even if we don't count Europa as a planet that could host alien life, still the images by Juno are quite terrifying and they look very haunted too. The moon is completely white with gray stripes all around it. Astronomers are yet to study these images and soon we'll get to know their view on the very horror images released by NASA. Until then, we'll wait for the launch of Clipper because that's going to help us figure out a lot of things about Europa. So, do you think Europa has the potential to host alien life? Tell us in the comments. Also, make sure to launch the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, adios from our side.